everyone said that this one is going to blow you wide open. Like you will never experience anything like you experience with the intuitive intensive. And I didn't get it until now. It's a shift in how you see yourself. It's a shift, not only in the, the gifts that open up for you and the things that you're able to do, you feel like superwoman. <laughs> I feel like I have superpowers. Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to be answering one of your questions. Again, I really, I choose the questions that I think benefit everybody. So that's what we're going to do today. But before I do that, I just want to draw your attention to this little banner down here that says textcac.com. If you go to textcac.com, you'll see a phone number. And if you enter that phone number into your phone and text it, we will be connected via text. Now I'm doing this because um, I'm, I'm, I'm present across a variety of social media platforms, all of which are toxic, all of which are toxic. And I'm really looking for a way to stay connected to my most motivated viewers and those people who just kind of want to know what's going on with me and I want to know what's going on with them. And so by going to techcac.com, we can stay connected via text. And so if anything cool is happening, if I'm doing a live, if I am dropping a video, or if I'm just talking about what I'm doing for Christmas. I think that was my last text. I said, um, basically, we've got no gifts and no ornaments on the tree, but that's okay. It's a weird year. But sometimes I'll just text out and I'll talk to the folks. And so if you want to be a part of that and part of this community, go to textcac.com and connect with me. Let's do this. I also want to draw your attention. Let me toggle back here and let you know that I am on Instagram. You can go to Chris Ann Compton on Instagram. And please note, it's not Crystal Ann Compton. I wasn't able to get that for whatever reason. It's Chris Ann Compton. And you can find me there and follow me. I would love to connect with you there. Sometimes I post pictures of my dogs. I'll post pictures of myself. I mean, I'm, I'm an older lady. I really don't do a whole lot of selfies. but Or what I'm doing, where I'm going, and things of that nature. Just another way for you and me to stay connected. Chris and Compton on Instagram. Please follow me. I would love to see you there and see your comments there as well as here on YouTube. Okay, now that I'm done with all of that, let's get to the question that we're going to be talking about today. This question comes from Tumike or Tumeke Papatunku. I hope I said that correctly. Now, I'm from Hawaii, and we do vowels a little differently. And so I, I often mispronounce things with regard to vowels because of the way I was brought up. So I'm just going to say that as Tumeke Papatunku. And I hope I got that correct. Anyway, Tumeke asks, what spiritual gifts have I got? Aroha Nui. That sounds like aloha nui. So you're ta to make it papatunku. Are you Tahitian? What else, what's going on with you? I'm so intrigued. <laughs> Tahitians were the first Hawaiians, so we have a connection. Um, he also says, or she also says, forgive me, you are a psychic counselor. Great to have you back. Thank you so very much. I, I take it. I'll accept that. Um, I'm a spiritual counselor and I do mentor people from time to time. And I just love to be up on the tubes talking to you. So Tumeke asks, what spiritual gifts does Tumeke have? And I will answer this personally, but then I want to talk about this generally for each and every one of us. Tumeke, you definitely have something that's called clairsentience. Clairsentience is the psychic ability or the spiritual ability to feel into the world of spirit. Now, when I say feel into the world of spirit, meaning I mean that you actually feel things in your physical body. And this is a detection of what's going on in life, but also what's going on in the energy and in the world of spirit. And for someone like you, this means you can actually feel and discern very easily whether something is for you or whether it's not. In fact, you should trust this to Mecca, your discernment. For example, you're the type of person who can meet somebody and have absolutely no information about them. But if you go quiet for a moment and check in with your body, your body very clearly tells you whether this person is a good person for you or not, 
or whether there's something off with the person or whether there's uh, something you need to pay attention to. This is your feeling psychic sense in your physical body. Now, people who are clairsentient also tend to be a little stronger on the empath scale. Now, an empath is someone who can detect your feelings within their own feelings or within their own body. And people who are empaths often kind of short circuit because to feel all of that in their physical body can be super overwhelming. But empathy, uh, spiritual empathy is a gift. In fact, it's a powerful gift. And so clairsentients tend to be empaths and empaths tend to be healers. And so this is a long way of saying, if you are someone like Tumeke, I believe, who feels things in the physical body or feels things in their own emotions that act as kind of a a guiding system for them, that means you're more likely to also be an empath. And you're also more likely to be some kind of a healer. Now, when we say healer, we don't necessarily mean you're a doctor or you're a nurse. You go to the hospital every day and do a job. There are many healers who conduct healing by simply holding a high vibration and letting that vibration emanate from them into the space. There are many energy healers, for example, Reiki practitioners and other kinds of practitioners that work to adjust energy in a body or also in a space. And then there are those folks who give attunements. And I'm one of those people who gives attunements. I channel these from the world of spirit and they often come out through voice and through words and through messages. And so that's a type of attunement. It's a type of healing that is done. And so to Meke, I sense for you, that is a broader potentiality. That is a broader possibility. I don't know if you are in anything like a healing space at this time. And if not, this might be something you, you might want to pray about because this is kind of a trajectory for someone who is clairsentient. It doesn't have to be, but it is a possibility. Clairsentience for you, Tumeke, and I bet a lot of other folks identified themselves in that description of clairsentience. Clairsentience as a psychic ability is often dismissed because it's happening inside of us. And so we say, oh, this is just me. This isn't spirit. This isn't me picking up on messages or information. This is just something that's happening within me. And so we disregard it or we don't pay attention to it or we don't utilize what the emotions are saying to us or what the body is saying to us. We keep it moving. And this is where I will return to the message that the majority of spirit messages and spirit is trying to talk to us or when psychic information is coming through, is missed by us because we are not paying attention. And in specific, we are not paying attention to what's happening inside of us. We think being a psychic means we've got a special dispensation of divinity that comes from someplace else. Well, here's the gag. It comes from inside of you. The kingdom of heaven is inside of you. And therefore, anything from spirit that is given to you moves through you necessarily. And so, of course, it comes through in your voice. Of course, it comes through in your inner vision. Of course, it comes through the filter of your instrument. And it will feel familiar to you. Now, what I wanted to say beyond just this to Tumeke and everyone else is that Tumeke and everyone else, you have all the spiritual gifts. You have all of the psychic gifts in specific. Now, the psychic gifts are many, but primarily we're talking about clair clairvoyance, which is psychic vision, clairaudience, which is psychic hearing, clairsentience, which again is psychic feeling, and claircognizance, which is psychic knowing, spontaneous, epiphanous, aha moments. That's claircognizance. And then there's clairgustance. And clairalience, which is the ability to smell and to taste in the world of spirit, this is typically associated with mediumship. We all have all of the things. We are just not conscious to it. We are not pivoted toward it. We are also probably not working with our vibration sufficiently. When we work with our vibration, and in specific, what I mean here is when we raise our vibration and do those things that can help us to modify the frequency to raise that vibration, all of the lights in the house turn on. Repeat it after me. All of the lights in the house turn on. The vibration is the electricity. You dig? 
The vibration is the electricity. And so you don't have to work or effort in order to turn on your clairvoyance. All you have to do is work with your vibration and find those things in your life that power you up. That means turn you on or make you feel joyful and blissed out and purposeful and meaningful and happy. What is that for you? Spend time, indeed, make a discipline out of doing those things as a practice, doing those things more. And that's the electricity. The more your vibration raises, the more your, ex your consciousness expands. The more your vibration raises, the more the lights turn on in the house. The lights are your spiritual gifts. To Meke and you, you who are watching or listening, you have all of the psychic gifts. You're just not conscious to it. You're not minding your vibration so that you can not just turn on the lights and flick them. No, we want those lights to stay on. And in order to do that, we have to work on those things that raise our frequency. It's interesting to me. Do you know why? When I first got intrigued by the world of spirit and psychic gifts and ghosts and paranormal stuff. I was driven by that. And Jesus would have called these signs and wonders. I was driven to see spirits and be a medium and encounter things like miracles. And so I did. I efforted. I went to classes and I did things. And these things definitely helped. But it's interesting because once I began to immerse myself in the frequency of that, which causes it, the divine, that which is the author of it, source, when I began to adjust my frequency to become a match for this, all of those things came effortlessly to me. I did not have to seek them. I did not have to try for them. Those lights just turned on and stayed on. And the thing was that it became secondary to me. All those things as a young woman that I wanted in my life, these signs and wonders, I got them, I have them, but they're not the point. The point is the alignment. Are you listening? The point, the, uh, pardon me, I start to stutter when spirit is coming in. The point is the alignment to source energy. The point is the alignment to the I am that I am and understanding on a fundamental level what that even means. Do you know what that means? When I say to you, you are the I am, do you get that? Like until you get that and align with it, click into it, my friend. Until you do that, you're never really going to be able to keep those lights on in the house in a sustained way. You're just not. You all have all the gifts. Now, of course, like Tumeke, maybe you have one that is at the fore, one that is more prominent than the others, for example, I am clairvoyant strongly and clairaudient strongly. Clairsentient, I get mixed up a little bit, and that's due to trauma from my past. Claircognizance, I'm also strong in this, but when I first started out, I was largely clairvoyant, like I saw things everywhere as a child. So there are primary clairs, of course, but I have all of them. It's really about what I'm doing and how it applies. And you have all of them too. And you're meant to live a magical life. You're meant to use this beautiful psychic system that you were given naturally as a human. And the message of this video is step into that, truly step into that. And on that note, I just want to remind you, we've got the 2021 Intuitive Intensive coming up. Now, if you ever, ever, wanted to connect with the system I'm talking about and also primarily connect to your own divinity, connect to your own purpose on this planet. If you ever wanted to understand shift and what's going on and also all the things, not all the things, there are so many things we don't know, but so many of the things that make up our spiritual ecosystem like angels and Ascended masters and aliens and dimensionality and octaves and lucid dreaming and channeling and all of these things. If you ever wanted to turn those lights on, get into the intuitive intensive if you can, because that's the focus of that whole program. And yes, there's a lot of content. And yes, there's a lot to take in, but it's the frequency of it, you see. It's the frequency of it. 
when you put yourself into it intentionally, you open yourself up to this vibration we're talking about. So please think about joining me for the 2021 Intuitive Intensive. This is the link. It's also down in the description. I'm a part of this. I'm a primary teacher in the intensive. Also, my best friend, Trisha Carr. We have a lot of students that are already a part of this program that have joined our private sacred community. The only person missing is you. If you want to get your psychic on, let's get into this program and let's do this. Okay, guys, on that note, thank you so much for hanging out with me for today's video. And until next time, well, also please like, please comment <laughs> because it helps me in the algorithm on YouTube. And so please do that if you would be so kind. But until next time, please know that I have got nothing but love for you. And that's the truth. <laughs>